to where based in Newmud in Leeds, just a suburb outside of Leeds. Before Covid, just a small country pub with a beer garden and then after Covid kind of adapted to fill a small country pub inside with a lot more space outside. Well, first thing was we had loads of stuff left. I mean, we had like tea bags, coffee, all that kind of stuff, which we just knew was either going to go out of date when we thought would all go out of date. So any food we had left, anything perishable we could give away, we just put something on our social media saying, has anyone got anyone who's isolating or can't get out? And then we just delivered all that for free. And then tried to evaluate, what do we do? Do we do some dinners to take away? We tried that for a week or two, and everyone was trying to do the same thing. So we were just fighting in this overpopulated market. So we just thought, well, what can we do that's a little bit different? And we decided to take the entertainment part of a pub. We've got like, free quiz nights and we used to do lots of live entertainment with musicians like some tribute nights so we approached a couple of the singing artists and they did a few live shows for us we started to do quiz nights live and we did it thinking we'd get a few people watching once or twice a month and it ended up being two or three times a week with thousands of people watching it and that rolled us right through a lockdown one and um, when lockdown two came about again people were asking are you going to do it again so we did it again for another few months it was good kind, kind of brought people into the pub without being in Yeah, so we added all these benches out here, added loads of benches into the beer garden, because we're at a point where the government were giving out grants, so we thought rather than sitting on the grants and probably losing money further forward, well, we'll use the grants to put some benches in, put a booking system in place, and just try to recruit, basically. We knew we'd need everyone to run the drinks. So we um, posted something on social media that basically said, anyone who's going back to work inside but has got three weeks to spare outside, we'll take you. So we just flooded it with staff, advertised what we could out of it, and we ended up with a capacity, I think it was 900 that it held at the time, which is massive because the pub used to order 100, so we kind of like times nine what we would normally do. We've got a lot of beer in, put the app in, and then off you go. All of a sudden, we're selling so much beer. Don't get got in touch, I think three weeks in a row, and said you've sold more beer than anyone in their estate in the UK. I think it was only England open at the time, but I was like, are you joking? And surely, like, that's not a thing. But we said, yeah. And then we did the Euros, put a huge screen into the garden, and that sold out every game. And then we sold more beer than their estate in another week as well, which was good. probably think we've been nominated because like we adapted fast we weren't scared to try something new and that wasn't just me that was the whole team getting behind it saying let's give it a go and we took a risk and obviously roll the dice and it paid off. Personally like obviously we don't win it but the pub wins it and it'd be nice to say like we did this in like the worst of times and we've got this thing to pile there put on your website or whatever else and just share it with the staff. So everyone's obviously contributed to it, it's not just me. I have to lead it, but yeah, it'd be nice to just have that little recognition. It's good for your CV if you ever need it. <laughs>